あなたは誰ブーブーブー Japanorama began as an exploration of my passion for all things Japanesey, and near the top of my list of lust is a man who, without sugarcoating the uncertainty and hazards of life, manages to portray the magic of childhood with warmth and respect. Hayao Miyazaki. Miyazaki's mind blowing crop of animated features includes Naushika, My Neighbor Totoro, Princess Mononoke, and most recently, Spirited Away. Miyazaki san,、uh, first of all, let me say I'm a huge fan of yours. So thank you so much for、um, finding the time to speak with me for the program. They call you the Japanese Disney.、Uh, and I wonder how do you feel about that? I'm not very happy about it. <laughs> Disney is a producer, but he's not a director. Now, Disney is such a big company. They are very keen to have everything in the world. You obviously have a great fondness for children, but also an ability, it seems, to、um, put yourself in their shoes for their age, which is quite remarkable for any adult, I think. Is this something you, you've always had?、Mm, As I'm exploring animation with the main character, I recall old memories. I also see my friend's daughters a few times a year when we go to the cottage in the summer. Looking at their facial expressions always teaches me something. All the movements and feeling of the main character are taken from them. After years of directing animation for television, in 1978, Miyazaki directed his first feature length film, The Castle of Cagliostro. It won the praise of critics and filmmakers the world over. In fact, Steven Spielberg reportedly chose this as the greatest car chase in any film ever. Let's go for something more heavy duty. However, it wasn't until 1988 that Miyazaki and his studio Ghibli would win widespread recognition with the stunning. My neighbor Totoro. Today, there is a great news for me. My name is Obake Totoro. I think I'm going to be able to get my own life. It's the story of two sisters, May and Satsuki, who move from the city to the country, where they discover a family of warm woodland creatures whom they call Totoros. The story of two sisters, May and Satsuki, who move from the city to the country, where they discover a family of warm woodland creatures whom they call Totoros. That scene、uh, with the bus stop where they're waiting for their father and the cat bus comes, which is, is one of the most wonderful scenes in, in any animated movie. And what strikes me is you, you rarely see films at that pace, scenes at that pace, and with that kind of、um, relaxed feel in, in American animated movies. It seems very unusual. It just happened to be like that. My original plan was much shorter. However, It became longer as we started visualizing the images. In the end, it turned out to be a great scene. It was most fortunate, a mysterious scene made with spacious music and images. <laughs> In 1997, Miyazaki's Princess Mononoke broke all box office records, reaping an unprecedented $150 million in Japan.
This complex and enchanting feature sees Miyazaki exploring man's power struggle in the natural order through the tale of Prince Ashitaka, who needs to find the cure to a wound that is killing him. Mononoke was Studio Ghibli's first export to the US, but failed to score at the box office, perhaps because in the West we don't expect animated movies to be quite so sophisticated. I didn't expect children to fully understand Princess Mononoke and was surprised when they did. In fact, it was the adults and critics who were confused. Studio Ghibli's latest release, Spirited Away, has grossed over $250 million, busting Mononoke's box office record by a wide margin. It also nabbed Miyazaki the prestigious Golden Bear at the 2002 Berlin Film Festival. Spirited Away tells the story of a young girl, Chihiro, who must journey to the spirit world in order to rescue her parents, who've been turned into pigs. In the scene in Spirited Away, when the parents eat and eat and eat, I had a horrible feeling that's how my children look at me sometimes when I'm at the table. Is, is that what you were thinking? That's how the Japanese eat nowadays. I think it's very ugly. They catch prawns, squid and crab from all over the world and keep eating. All you ever see on the TV is cooking programs. Let me just finish by saying there, there are many directors whose films I admire but I can't think of uh, more than one animator whose work I admire without exception, and that is yours. So thank you so much again for spending some time with us, Miyazaki-san. And by the way, nice ginger cake. <laughs>